Hello everyone, welcome to another all day wear test and review for Maybelline's newest makeup product. That is going to be their Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup from the Instant Age Rewind line. So I will show you how it applies, we'll go over the claims, compare those to how it actually forms or functions throughout the day, and I'll give you my final thoughts and reviews at the end of a full day of wearing. Thank you so much for being a subscriber to the channel. Please also go follow over on Instagram if you aren't already. And of course, if you haven't seen the 2021 all-time best of videos, a uh, long time ago I called them the Allura Awards, but we just do best of the year nowadays. Um, I will go link those for you, especially the skincare one, but there's also a makeup one. So if you haven't seen those, please go check those out. My cherry drop earrings here are from Etsy and my necklace is from Amazon. I will link both of those in the description box for you. All right, so this is the product by Maybelline that has just recently launched. There's a close up at what the box looks like and this is what the tube looks like. For the price, you are gonna get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of product. And it comes in only six shades, but you'll see it's supposed to be pretty sheer coverage. So the shade ranges are gonna span kind of a wider range than a typical more higher coverage product. This is a squeeze tube with a twist off cap and you squeeze out the product there. And throughout this video, the shade that I am applying, wearing and testing is 01 Light. And I have NC20, sometimes 25-ish skin during the summer and darker months. You can purchase this product through Amazon, through Ulta. I believe it's already at Walmart also and probably your local drugstores. Um, you may not see it for just a little bit because it is a fairly new product. I purchased mine for around $11, but of course that is again going to vary just depending on where you purchase it. I always put the cheapest place that you can find it online in the description box below and any coupon codes if I happen to have them for you. All right, let's move on to looking at the clean for the product because of course we want to see how well the product lives up to them. So this is supposed to have a whipped lightweight texture that blurs pores, conceals blemishes, mattifies, and evens skin tone all in one easy step. Six self-adjusting shades, I don't know about that, gives you an instant matte perfected look. So you're supposed to have the combined benefits of a primer, concealer, mattifying powder, and BB cream all in one product. It does say that it's supposed to be weightless and gives you light coverage. And in terms of using it, it suggests that you apply it all over the face with your fingers. So it's supposed to do a bunch of different things all in one. We'll see if that holds true. Let's take a look at the ingredients to see if there's anything we should be concerned about. Actually, a very short ingredients list. I'm pretty surprised. You have mostly those kind of silicone slippery agents. You have kaolin, which is going to help mattify and suck up those oils. Wow, I'm really surprised that it's so short, but um, in any case, at the end of the day, I don't see any perfumes or fragrances, which is great, and we don't have any drying alcohols in there either. All right, let's go ahead and apply this to a bare face, see how it goes. My face is cleansed. I have applied my skincare and my sunscreen. So here we go. I'm going to follow the directions and apply this with my fingers. You can see it's definitely a mousse-like texture. Yeah, it's got this very actually lightweight whipped mousse feel to it. Try to do half my face so you can see the difference in coverage and finish. It's fairly slippery in texture too. Glides really nicely across the skin. Okay, so on this side of my face, you've got a quick one layer application there. I see a bit, a slight bit of mattifying, a little bit of smoothing out too. I don't see a ton of coverage though. That's what the skin looks like up close on the side where it's applied. I'm gonna go ahead and go over more product to do a second layer, see what kind of coverage can be built up. So on two layers, I'm getting some streaking that I'm trying to smooth out. It feels very similar to a primer, but maybe not quite as silicone-y as many traditional foundation primers, but hopefully the camera's picking up this kind of streakiness and unevenness with that second 
layer in trying to build up the coverage. And honestly, I don't know if I see a really noticeable difference in coverage. This side is definitely smoother. Um, so in that sense, you're getting some benefits of that makeup, but I would say it's pretty sheer coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the entire face and check back in with you. Okay, so here's the product applied to the whole face. Let me give you a close up. That side and the other side. I do have, if you looked really close, a little bit of patchiness over here, but overall, definitely the skin looks smooth. It looks mattified and you're getting that sheer, maybe approaching light coverage. So honestly, I mean, that's consistent with what the product is claiming. I don't think that it functions as a BB cream or as a foundation or a concealer, certainly not a concealer, um, but for someone who wants that kind of primed mattified effect with some light coverage and a smooth appearance that's completely, um, you know, skin-like, then I think that is achieved so far. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. I don't think I'm gonna apply powder this time like I normally do because I wanna see what that mattifying effect is like throughout the day, um, but I'll come back and check with in with you in just a second. All right, here is the completed look with makeup, under eye concealer, um, bronzer, but nothing else in terms of coverage on the face, no face powder. It's maintaining a fairly matte finish, which I, it's promising and I like, uh, especially for someone like me with combination kind of oilier skin. The powder that I blended in worked well, so it seems to play well with powders on top. And here we have what it looks like in daylight, kind of diffused daylight. Again, maybe not a ton of coverage, but definitely helps smooth out the surface. All right, I'll check in with you at the end of the day. All right, we are here at the end of the day and I am checking in with you in terms of seeing what we think about the product and how it lives up to the claims. So it's interesting. I feel pretty strongly like calling this makeup is maybe a little bit misleading. Maybe not. I just think you shouldn't go into this product thinking that it's going to be something like a tinted moisturizer. What I think the best description for this product is, is that it is mostly a priming and blurring product with a tiny bit of coverage. Um, and I'm not even saying that the product doesn't live up to the claims. I think it lives up to some of the claims or most of the claims. It's definitely not going to cover up your blemishes or act as a concealer. That claim is just totally overblown and not true. Um, but, and is it a BB cream? No. But is it priming? Yes. Is it mattifying? Yes. Does it smooth out the skin? Yes. Does it help blur the imperfections on the skin? Yes. So in that sense, I think that um, if you understand what to expect from the product and that's what you want out of it, you'll be pretty satisfied. I do feel like my skin looked pretty smooth or smoother after I applied this and some imperfections were blurred, although not covered up that makes sense. And compared to most foundations that I use or even love, this one had a stronger mattifying effect over a longer period of time. So that was good too. You can definitely see that I'm, you know, still shiny, but unlike with even some of my favorite foundations, like the new Neutrogena one that I reviewed recently, oh, I adore a Adore that foundation. To me, that is one of the most perfect lightweight um, foundations or really skin-like foundations or makeup. Um, but even that, after you know, 15, 30 minutes of wear, my oil is showing through. Whereas with this product, um, you know, it takes about an hour for that oil to start showing through. And even now at the end of the day, I'm overall not as shiny. Um, or oily looking as I would be with some of my other favorite foundations. And unlike when I do reviews for those, some of those other foundations, it depends on the product, but um, in a lot of them, I will powder. I'll put a layer of powder to help mattify the skin. 
Unlike those instances, in this instance, I didn't put any sort of powder on. So maybe I would have gotten more long-term mattifying effects if I had powdered. I haven't touched up at all throughout the day. I haven't blotted or anything like that. So those are my overall thoughts about this product. Just know what to expect to get out of it. And you, if that's what you want, then definitely I think worth getting. If you want something that's more like a mattifying foundation, this is not gonna cut it for you. So if you've already tried it, let me know what you think in the description box, in the description box, in the comment section below. Um, or if you have any questions that I can try to help answer, I'm happy to do that too. I hope this was helpful to you and that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next one.